Test one, two, test one, okay. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another reading of the Bible. We are going to finish, excuse me, excuse me. We're going to finish 1 Samuel today, and we're going to do it in, in uh, two parts. <clears throat> this one will deal with chapter 27 and 28. And then the last second video will deal with 29, 30, and 31. So here we go. Chapter 27. David said in his heart, I shall now perish one day by the hand of Saul. There is nothing better for me than that I should speedily escape into the land of the Philistines. And Saul shall despair of to seek me any more to in any coast of Israel, so shall I escape out of his hand. <clears throat> See, David arose, and he passed over with 600 men who were with him unto Achish, or Achish, the son of Maok, king of Gath. David dwelt with Achish at Gath, he and his men, every man with his household. Even David with his two wives, Ahinoam, the Jezreelitess, and Abigail, the Carmelites, Nabal's wife. It was told to Saul that David had fled to Gath, Gath of God, and he sought no more again for him. David said unto Achish, If I have now found, found grace or favor in thine eyes, let, let them give me a place in some town in the country that I may dwell there, for why should thy servant dwell in the royal city with thee? Then Achish gave him Ziklag that day, wherefore, wherefore Ziklag pertaineth unto the kings of Judah unto this day. The time that David dwelt in the country of the Philistines was a full year and four months. Excuse me. David and his men went up and they invaded the Gersh. Geshurites and the Gezrites and the Amalekites and for those nations who were of old the inhabitants of the land as thou goest or goest to Shur even unto the land of Egypt. Egypt. David smote the land and left neither man nor woman alive taking away the sheep, the oxen, the donkeys, the camels, the apparel and returned and came to Achish. Akish said, Whither have ye made a road to David? And David said, Against the south of Judah, against the south of the Yaram, oh, this was hard, <laughs> Yaram Maelites, Maelites, Yaram Maelites, and against the south of the Canaanites. David saved neither man nor woman alive to bring tidings to Gath, saying, lest they should tell on us, saying, So did David, and so will be his manner all the while he dwelleth in the country of the Philistines. Achish believed David, saying, believed David, saying, He hath made his people, Israel, utterly <clears throat> to abhor him. Therefore he shall be my servant forever. Chapter 28. It came to pass in those days that the Philistines gathered their armies together for warfare to fight with Israel. Achish said, and Achish said unto David, Know thou assuredly that thou shalt go out with me to battle, thou and thy men. David said to Achish, Surely thou shalt know what thy servant can do. And Achish said to David, Therefore will, will I make thee keeper of mine, of mine head forever. Now Samuel was dead, and all Israel had lamented and buried him in Ramah, even in his own city. And Saul had put away those who had familiar spirits, the wizards, out of the land. The Philistines gathered themselves together and came and pitched in Shunem. And Saul gathered all Israel together, and they pitched in Gilboa. When Saul saw the Saul saw the host of the Philistines. Philistines, he was afraid, and his heart greatly trembled. 
When Saul inquired of the Lord, the Lord answered him not, neither by dreams, nor by Uri, or by, nor by prophets. Then said Saul unto his servants, Seek me a woman who hath a familiar spirit, that I may go to her and inquire of her. And his servants said unto him, Behold, there is a woman who hath a familiar spirit in Endor. Saul disguised himself and put on other raiment, and he went, and two men with him. And they came to the woman by night. And he said, I pray thee, divine unto me by the familiar spirit, and bring me him up, whom I shall name unto thee. The woman said unto him, Behold, thou knowest what Saul hath done, how he hath cut off those that have familiar spirits, wizards, and wizards out of them. Wherefore then layest thou a snare for my life to cause me to die? Saul swear by her, Swear to her by the Lord, saying, As the Lord liveth, there shall be there shall no punishment happen to thee for this thing. Then said the woman, Whom shall I bring up unto thee? Saul said, Bring me Samuel. When the woman saw Samuel, she cried with a loud voice, and the woman spake to Saul, saying, Why hast thou deceived me? For thou art Saul. The king said unto her, Be not afraid, for what thou for what thou for what for what seest thou? The woman said unto Saul, I saw God ascending out of the earth. Those would probably be angels, because God's is God's is a little G there. Verse thirteen footnote here. Spirit. I saw spirits ascending out of the earth. Or out of the earth. Those are brought, uh, no, not angels, I'm sorry. If it's out of the earth, it's uh, the spirits of the dead. He said, uh, Saul said unto her, What form is he of? And she said, An old man cometh up, and he is covered with a mantle. Saul perceived that it was Samuel, and he stooped to, with his face to the ground and bowed himself. Samuel said unto Saul, Why hast thou disquieted me to bring me up? Saul, ans Saul, Saul answered, <clears throat> I am sore distressed, for the Philistines make war against me. God is departed from me, and answereth me no more, neither by prophets nor by dreams. Therefore I have called to thee, that thou mayest make known unto me what I shall do. Then Samuel said, Wherefore then, or why then, dost thou ask of me, seeing the Lord has departed from me, and has become thine enemy. The Lord hath done to him, as he spake for, by me, for the Lord hath rent the kingdom out of thine hand, and gave it to thy neighbor, even unto David, because thou obeyest not the voice of the Lord, nor executed his fierce wrath upon Amalek. Therefore hath the Lord done this thing unto thee to this day. Moreover, the Lord will also deliver Israel with thee into the into the hand of the Philistines, and tomorrow thou shalt thou and tomorrow shalt thou and thy sons be with me. The Lord also shall deliver the host of Israel into the hand of the Philistines. Then Saul then Saul fell straight away, all along the earth, and was sore afraid because of the words of Samuel. And there was no strength in him, for he had eaten no bread all the day, nor all the night. The woman came unto Saul, and saw, and saw that he was sore troubled, saying unto him, Behold, thy handmaid hath obeyed thy voice, and I have put my life in my hand, and have hearkened unto my, thy words which thou speakest unto me. Now therefore I pray thee, Uh, now, therefore, I pray thee, hearken thou also unto the voice of thine handmaid, and let me see a set a morsel of bread before thee. Eat, that thou mayest have strength when thou goest thy way. But Saul refused, saying, I will not eat. But his servants, together with a woman, compelled him, and he hearkened unto their voice. 
So he rose from the earth and sat upon the bed. The woman had a half fat calf in the house. And she hastened and killed it and took flour, kneaded it, did bake, and baked unleavened bread thereof. She brought it before Saul and before his servants, and they did eat. Then they rose up and went away that night. <laughs>